Hello everybody, Simon Holden here for Holden Sources Lunchtime Update with Hot Horses Aplenty and I've got two for you today. Firstly, happy bank holiday. I hope you're having a peaceful and relaxing time and a big, big uh, well done to everybody on um, uh, Double Shot yesterday with Fez Rover third in the 1000 guineas at 22 to 1 and... Just wish Paul Hannigan had let her go a bit early, but there you go. She really is. She's proved herself to be a great filly, just as my info was, how she wintered and how she was working. So big thumbs up there. If you want to get involved in Double Shot today, well, we go to Beverly for the big Bank Holiday Monday meeting there, and it is one of my top tracks for info. So you can get involved for your season ticket for £80. It'll give you them every day. Uh, works out £10 a month or you can pay at the second link and just get them sent straight to you for today and uh, if you win you can always buy a season ticket then it is up to you it's all about customer choice here at Holden Horses now warm horses I'm going to top and tail the Kempton Jumps card because that is the strongest information that I've had looking at this afternoon I've pretty much got Beverly covered with my services and with uh, with double shot and some Windsor bets that have gone out. And the other races at Windsor, very small fields. It's very difficult to get an angle on them, but two strong words for horses at Kempton. And that's what I'm here to do, give you the strongest uh, info that comes in during the morning. That's what I'll hold in sources, warm horses. Lunchtime update is about, so I better get on with it now. In the 115, we're going to back each way. Number two, Grisbe de Beers. Grisbe de Beers. Take the 11, I don't know why it tailed off clue so light. Take the 11 to two with a bet 365. I'll do that in an English accent. That's bet 365 as opposed to bet 365. And you can get 11 to two there. This one trained by Alan King, been very, very shrewdly bet all day. A horse that's taken its time to come to hand one last time at Huntingdon and is going after a follow up victory. Paza Doble is the odds on favourite second time out and Flinter Sacra second favourite which must be the biggest flop of the whole jump season. We were all told to get on this for the triumph, Earl, get on this for the supreme, get on this and he comes to Kempton in April, in May even. Oh, never say I don't know what day it is, I don't know what month it is. Uh, and he can't even be favourite for this. So we're taking it on with Grisby de Berce. Been shrewdly back. Take that 11 to 2, bet 365. If you can, that's the first one. Now let's tail the card. Let's go to the final race, which is a mare's handicap hurdle. And here, the one to be on is number three, Progressive. Number three, Progressive, trained by Nicky Henderson. Last seen at Cheltenham when finishing last in the uh, Phillies Juvenile Handicap Hurdle, back to a more reasonable level. This course should sue. The Henderson, uh, what would you call them, connections, seem to be want to be on this. All the right faces in Lambeau want to be on this. And it is best price, three to one with Unibet, 11 to four with a Paddy Power and a William Hill. Nico de Boinville takes the ride. A progressive can get back to winning ways, now lowering her sight. So you've got 115 at Kempton. We've got each way Grisby de Berce. And I'm going to have a little double on these, a little win double as well. We've got a win bet in the 445 on number three, Progressive. Take the three to one with Unibet. They are your bank holiday Monday warm horses live from the trading room. I'm going to have to get this lot motivated on a bank holiday. And I will be back tonight at 6 p.m. with your Tuesday flyer. Let's get this bank holiday party started with winners, winners, winners. Good luck if you're in the services. Good luck if you're going to come on board for double shot today. A great day to start it. And good luck on the warm horses. Basically, good luck all round. I'll see you tonight where there will not be a trace of a dodgy French accent.